What is up guys, welcome to the video. It is of course Mindset on the Move and today's topic is consistency. So let's get into it. Oh Steve, you're so cool, you got a skateboard. Shut up Dave. I know. I wanted to be on the... I wanted to be on the move for this video. I did some skateboarding, I moved, okay? Don't be so picky. This is of course mindset on the move, so I had to be moving. I gotta keep getting creative with this, so today I have a skateboard. I was on the move. So, we got the movement out of the way. Let's talk about mindset. Notebook. In this video we're gonna be talking about what is consistency, why consistency is so important, and what I do to stay consistent every day. I'll also be giving you my top five tips to staying consistent, so make sure you stick around for that. Before we get into it, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your latest fitness and lifestyle content. If you're not new here, this is obviously Mindset on the Move. I am on a skateboard, I've been moving. Let's talk about mindset. First of all, what is consistency? Consistency is defined as pretty much doing the same thing again and again, having the same actions or the same views on something. So. With regards to fitness, consistency would be going to the gym every day or every week again and again and again and again and again. Yes, Steve, I know you should go to the gym every day, blah, 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 but why is consistency so important? I think it kind of goes back to my video on habit formation where it doesn't matter what you do once, it's what you do again and again and again to form a habit that's important. That's where consistency comes in. Like with my usual example of drinking green juice and micronutrients, shite. If you do that once, it's not really that much use to you. If you do it five or six times, it starts to become a habit. And then once you keep doing it consistency over time, it just becomes part of who you are. You're no longer just drinking that green smoothie every morning, you're actually a healthier person. In terms of dieting, consistency is a massive factor of people trying out a new diet, giving up two weeks in, and then going, I'm never gonna lose weight. It, like, yes you will, you just haven't been consistent with it. You've done it for a week or two and expected the 12 week results. You need to remain consistent over a long period of time and you'll get to where you're going. Consistency is the most important part of any nutrition, lifestyle, diet, anything, any kind of choice. If you make the choice and remain consistent with it, you will achieve your goals. Now I'm trying my best not to preach as if I know what I'm doing because this channel is me figuring it out. But in terms of what I do to stay consistent, I go back to my habit kind of formation where I make a small decision that I can, a small actionable strategy that I can do every day consistently. So say when I started this whole 12 week cutting plan that I'm on, I the first small thing I did was I started drinking black coffee to help with my intermittent fasting and suppressing hunger. So I started getting up every morning, making black coffee and drinking it every day. Once that became a habit, it was no longer me consciously deciding to drink coffee every day. It was just part of what I did during the day. I remained consistent with this, I made it a habit and it helped with my intermittent fasting. Let me know in the comments below if you want a video dedicated to intermittent fasting. I know there's a lot of confusion around it and I know when I started I was kind of confused but it, it's quite easy to get the hang of. Another thing I do every day to help with my consistency is I plan. People who know me know I'm OCD about planning. I have whiteboards and all sorts that I just stick to every day. So when I get up in the morning the first thing I'll do is I'll look at my whiteboard and I'll write down you need to do this, this, this and this today. And that helps me stay on track and stay consistent. I know I have to do a core workout and a fasted cardio session before my first meal in the morning. So that's the first thing on my list. I wake up in the morning, I write that down, I know that's what I'm doing today. I did it yesterday, I did it the day before, I'll do it tomorrow and I'll remain consistent. If you plan, you'll stay consistent. There's no point in just kind of going, taking, yeah, I might do this today. and. You won't be able to stay consistent if you don't have some sort of plan or direction. That's what I do anyway. I, I make small adjustments that I can turn into habits and then remain consistent with them. 
I've seen a weight loss of about 10 kg since I started this and this kind of egged me on to make this channel and tell more people about how easy it can be to do these things. If I pictured my goal at the end going this is where I need to be at a certain point or in a couple of years I'd never get there I just need to take a small habit and stay consistent with it and then I'll just get closer to my goal over time. I'm not putting too much pressure on the end result. I'm just getting closer every single day by staying consistent. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, how can you be more consistent? This goes back to the little things I do all the time to stay consistent. And you can apply these any day of the week to help you with your consistency. Let's go for an example of calorie tracking. A lot of the people watching this and me and myself when I started off didn't quite know where to go with calorie tracking and it seems really daunting. So if you picture this massive kind of challenge of calorie tracking and weighing everything and just it being a pain in the ass, you're never gonna do it. First step of this kind of consistency is break it down. It's not this massive calorie tracking beast that you have to weigh every day and you have to feed yourself to just, it's not all that. You just take it one step at a time. First thing I did was download my fitness pal, learn how to use that, that was, the first step break it down into steps downloaded the app watched YouTube videos and tutorials on how to use these things and I learned over time I've made a video on my fitness pal ever since I figured out how to use it and it, it's worth a watch if you need to if you need tips on it but it was just breaking it down into like a step-by-step -step format so download the app figure out my calories and macros figure out what foods I liked and what foods I could consistently eat every day like chicken and turkey and all that and once you break it down into more of a step-by-step bite-sized -step format it'll be much easier to remain consistent over time I had an old teacher who used to say how do you eat an elephant elephant sandwiches so you can't just go up and eat an elephant it would take you too long it wouldn't be possible to eat a whole elephant in one go you had to break them down into elephant sandwiches and have elephant sandwiches for your lunch every day of the week for like two years and then two years later you would have eaten the elephant it's the same with fat loss dieting calorie tracking break it down step by step little bits every day improve by one percent every day next thing you can do after breaking your goals down into a step by step format is make a plan i love planning stuff i just I have to plan so much about it. It doesn't have to be like 5 a.m. wake up, 5.01 weigh myself, 5.02 go for a piss. Like you don't have to plan every single second of every single day, but plan what you need to get done that day. Maybe five, six things that you know you definitely need to do. Like, I know I had to shoot this video today. I know I have to edit a different video later. Those, those are two high priority things that are on my list. If you have that list in front of you and you've planned it out, you'll remain consistent every day because like I said earlier, I wake up in the morning, I make my list of what to do, and I just work through that for the day. And before I know it, it's six, seven o'clock in the evening, I have most of the stuff done, I'm sitting editing a video for the rest of the night, and I it, I did the same thing yesterday, I'll do the same thing tomorrow. The consistency builds over time. The last thing you can do right now to be more consistent is change your mindset about what you need to achieve. You need to take your goals way down. So like, if as I said earlier, if I'm looking at this massive goal of like weighing this much and looking like this, and like my mind is warped. It makes doing all the little things really hard to, it makes them intangible. You can't fully comprehend getting there. But if you bring your goals down to like planning a list for the day, this is what I'm going to achieve today. This is what I'm going to achieve this week. It makes your goals much easier to tick off little by little. And like the elephant sandwich analogy from my business teacher years and years ago, you'll eventually get there. You'll eventually finish the elephant. You don't spend the whole time looking at this massive goal. You just remain consistent over time. You do a little bit, you improve by 1% every single day, and you focus, like I said in my mindset video, on the system rather than the goal. So you do the same system every single day day whether you want to or not that's a big thing about consistency is like I might wake up some morning and go oh I don't want to do this I don't want to I don't want to weigh this food I don't I, I love a I love a donut I'm just getting pissed off and giving up and kind of throwing in all the work I've done already I just think about the, doing that one thing again and again remaining consistent and knowing that I'm getting closer to the goal slowly started over here my goals over there somewhere and instead of going, I need to get over there, I just spend every day slowly, 
slowly getting closer and closer. That makes sense. Kinda. If you've made it this far in the video, please support me by liking and subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers. I'm just starting out on YouTube. I'd love to know if this content is bringing you value. So let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about on next week's Mindset on the Move. Or if you want to see full day of eating videos or calorie challenges. Like there's no point in me doing a calorie challenge because you don't give a shit who I am yet. Like, anyway. Talk to me in the comments, I'll, I'll reply, I'll be sound. I have an Instagram account for this channel, so if you want to see what I looked like a couple of weeks ago, check that out, I have one or two transformation photos up and I'll be uploading more as I progress, I suppose. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Dramatic exit. <laughs>